Now, you see, the system we are offering is at 3 kilowatt. Whatever extra you can use it, is your benefit. We are moving away from the Magrav system, into generators. Don't forget, we build this system as one family across this planet. We stood the trials, we stood the failures, and if you look, the first Magrav system, if you left it, still working, and none of you ever failed. The blueprint still stands in its origin term. But now what we've done, we have gone to the next step, that we are developing a complete unit, that you do not need to rely on any supply. But, in a way is wrong. We have developed a technology, we rely on the supply of energy from the plasma of the universe. In so many ways, if you speak at fields, not plasma, we have fulfilled the dream of one of our most beautiful scientists, I've said many before, Tesla. But, this time, we do the plasma. Now, all of us have matured to go a step further. Tesla showed us the field flow. I showed you the plasma flow. He showed you one direction of the traffic. I show you both. And the traffic on both, when they come together, is massive. There are no losses. There are absolutely no losses in your system. There's one thing for sure. We will make mistakes in maybe assembling one screw or one nut. But, we will not mis make a mistake, and we have not made a mistake, in the science of understanding of the plasma. Those are who feeble, look for a screw. Those are who understand, appreciate the totality. I received something very, very interesting this morning, from Africa. And, it is very, very interesting. This is a scientist, from University of Africa, and his is his explanation, as a scientist. He's a professor. On Monday was shown, that's the name of the professor at the beginning, he says, on Monday was shown, one, the Magrav unit. He asked to explain to him. I did. We entered into realm of, he, as he says, that we entered into the realm of electrical engineering. He said, current square time resistance equal to power is eliminated. Does not make sense anymore. These are the true one of scientists, of the science of the power, that understand, there is no resistance, because the plasma flows freely. So, the basic equation of the power that you work on, does not exist. And this is a man, a professor, he'll be a speaker, in a Ghana conference. These are the true scientists in Africa, who don't lose their patents, because they have no patents to protect, but to share the knowledge freely. And, to the scientists of CERN, there is something wrong, because they lose their income. So, a professor in electronics, has explained it to you, in a very simple way. I squared times R, equal to power, does not exist, in the world of, plasma technology. Because now they understand, in the world of the nano layers, and a plasma, there is no friction. Nothing but the flow. It's the river, which runs, with the high speed. It's you, that throws a bucket, and how much you want to take out of it. The new systems we deliver, will be most probably in three parts. The main part, will carry, as it is, the Magrav system, which carries the C certification. The other parts are auxiliary parts, which are not part of it, but in a way they are fuel tanks. 
and their conversion systems. We are asking for 1,800 euro, the way we delivered all the systems we sold at Magra. There is a problem, I have to explain to you. <coughs> In my talks I always said, we have delivered everything, and my team wrote back to me, there is a problem, we haven't delivered everything. There are 26 units left to Canada. Canadians want us to certify our system for them. It's not our responsibility, we're selling that according to the EU certification. If you buy from anywhere around the world, you want to import our goods for yourself, you've got two choices. We change our shipping agreement, we give you the company, we give you the bill, when you paid for it, you become the shipper. This way, we are not at fault, you are buying the goods on your own term. We don't become taking money and not delivering. You bought from Canada, from the Cash Foundation, and now say certified for Canada. Our certification, we manufacture in Europe for the European market. The rest of the world wants our products, you ship it from now on yourselves. Once you paid us, the shipping goes back to you. Arizona Cash Foundation, Manufacturing has gone into work, they are assembling their systems. Soon, they get American certification. Then, Americans can have that. Documents for the Keshe Foundation, Canada, has been signed. So, the Keshe Foundation, Canada, is going into production. And I thank Rick and the team of Canadians, who are working so hard to bring it in, in different ways, with different companies. The Keshe Foundation, Austria, has gone into operation. I've signed the agreements this week. But, Austria will concentrate on production of the medical systems, because we have Dr. Klaus there, and a team, which understand the work of the health units. <coughs> Today, we have 11 applications from mainland China. Actually, we have 12. In our future days, <coughs> we will release these 12 groups to start manufacturing in China. There are other manufacturers, like Germany, which has already been signed, waiting to find their way, how they're going to solve their internal problem, they go for manufacturing. On the other hand, other countries, other works, are very well fit, you will start seeing mass production. I do apologize from Taiwan Cash Foundation. You understand the position in respect. Just be patient with us. I have signed your documents. It will be released on time and you understand the political position of us. Other countries across the world, we support you. In Brazil, we work with you to achieve. In South Africa, we work with you the same. Australia, we have to stay within the law of the nation. If you set a company up, it has to be by the law, not just something which is outside the law you want to set up. We cannot agree with it. Look at it, change it, otherwise other people who are part of the Cash Foundation will set up the Australian Cash Foundation. All the nations in Africa, we have already, hopefully by next week, we'll have the manufacturing set up, and the Cash Foundation signed in. Kenya will be done this week, next week. Nigeria is already complete. Africa will become flag bearer. You've got to remember, around 18, 19th of October, those of you who cannot get visa to come to Europe, African Nation Conference is set for Africa. We have already inviting a number of scientists from different universities to present papers who work around the Keshe Foundation work in past years. We are highly credible. Atomic energy organizations will not put their signature if we were not. And none of you ever stood still for one second to understand that. And the abusers had the rampage to do. I'm proud to announce, in the coming days, we'll have a number of Iranian scientists, 
on board of the Keshe Foundation, health and other sections. We told you, and as being born in Iran, will bring Iran atomic as part of the plasma technology with us inside. Their papers will be published across Keshe Foundation as they find out and as they define more about technology. Don't forget, Iran is one of the leading nanotechnologies and the plasma in the world according to the world authorities. We are bringing governments to work with us. We are bringing authorities to work with us and bringing general public to work with us. I thank the Chinese community for their donation and in allowing that all the Keshe Foundation technology, every single work we done, to be start to be translated into Chinese, that the Chinese do not miss any part of the technology due to language. The Foundation is solid. The Foundation belongs to you. As I said, we are building it, we are structuring it, and the structure is just reaching its foundation. We have to build the rest on top. Teach as much as you can. Do as many experiments to show different angles and beauties of the science and share it with us. We have come to agreement and we start testing with different organizations, with different government authorities and go to your government and show them and deliver them you want certification, we deliver, we test. It's very easy, because now it carries certification documents from Europe, from Africa, from China, and everywhere else. We are launching a very interesting point. We have seen the end of the biggest fear of the man with cancer. We can deliver technologies. You have the technologies. You could learn how to use it, or go to the doctors who understand what to do with it, to eradicate the cancer. We have doctors in the background who listen. If they want to come and explain the cases of the cancer they've done, as you teach us in the medical section, you can raise your hand. We do not ask you to come. If you see your knowledge can help and serve humanity with what you've done, please come. Raise your hand and we allow you to explain because you're another knowledge seeker. You learn from us, share with us. But we respect your position and your expertise. Are there any doctors who want to share what they've achieved with their patients with us? Or do you want to wait? Stanley, do you see any of the teachers, of the students, or knowledge seekers, or doctors who want to talk? I'm reviewing the viewers, because probably they are not promoted yet. And uh, to remind the viewers, um, if you are a doctor and would like to speak, you can put your hand up, virtually, and uh, it's easier for us to make you a panelist, so you can speak. Can I speak, Mr. Cash? Yes, Mr. Arman, you're the master of the Foundation, why not? By the way, just to stop you, we have... We have, as Cash Foundation Scientific Institute we are, we have released the first professorship of the Institute. As you know, Benjamin in Ghana works within the University and teaches other students as Keshe Foundation Ghana. And he has become the first professor as a university to teach in Ghana with, from the Keshe Foundation. So, we have a master and a professor of the science of the knowledge of the plasma. We are the master, Armand. Go ahead. What I want to say, you know, I'm helping a lady with the cancer and almost 10 days she's applying a patch 
and drinking the water and taking a bath. Uh, what they did, the MRI and uh, cancer shrinked uh, in a size of two. And doctors could not understand how could it what be. What do you mean in the size of two? But, uh, it was ten, now it's like eight. Mm -hmm. In ten days. In ten days. And she don't have no pain. She, she was diagnosed in the fourth stage of cancer. Yeah. So, well, Are there cancers any other part of the body? No. Only on... Just in the lung. In the lung. Um, she is eating normal now. She couldn't eat before. Yeah. Do you have the documentation of the cancers? Yes, I, I asked, I asked even, uh, you know, a uh, CD of it. So, I want to talk with Dr. Rodriguez tomorrow to discuss it further, how we can make it more better. You need time. No, no, you need time. You need time. Don't rush. No, I'm not. I'm just... La last week, we spoke about the lady who benefited by the system, and then we received communication in the background from the husband. I do apologize. To me, if I share my life and my knowledge freely, what you gain has to be free as well, irrespective of condition and position. I understand and I respect in what you've written to us. And in so many ways, by us individually coming forward with what we have, what we learn, we give the credibility because the life is credible. And uh, if we see what we've seen, if we had doctors, I don't mention names, because they have to volunteer to be here. Most of the doctors work with us, they are from across the world. Most of them are already asleep, half a minute of the night, and uh, they will not be here. And we've seen them, they appear in the afternoon sessions, most probably, or in from different part of the world. We have a large team of Chinese scientists, doctors, that they will join us in, in my visit to China, hopefully we bring them in, and Chinese doctors will show us more ways of doing things. Um, uh, do you see any of the doctors around, on the knowledge seekers? And, uh, Dr. Rodrigo is the solar. Pardon? Dr. Rodrigo. Is he, would he like to speak? I think the trick promoted him now. I'm and here as a guest. Good morning, Dr. Good Rodriguez. Good morning. Good morning. I thank you for you being part of the teaching. We're learning a lot from you. Would you like to discuss the cases as a doctor you have seen and what changes you've seen with us, with the technology, please? Yes, uh, we uh, two, well, specifically two cases. Uh, the first one, who is the lady who is uh, 38 years old, and we had done, started with can, breast cancer and then spread the cancer to the, uh, every single bone, the femurs, uh, the uh, ribs, the spinal, the uh, right, uh, 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 right brain, uh, all the side, uh, right side of the brain, the frontal, temporal, occipital, and cerebellum brain. Uh, brain. And uh, she came here and I... I put her inside the uh, health unit for uh, uh, for a month. It's one hour, three times a day, and with a helmet also. Uh, and uh, after ten days, uh, actually the t uh, eight days after we started, she had an MRI, and the tumors from the frontal, temporal, and occipital uh, brain disappear. All those tumors. And after a month, they're gone. And also, after a month, we made a, um, uh, a scan, and also all the all this uh, tumors from all every bone was gone, and everything. I mean, she's out of the um, of the tumors. We have after a month, we have uh, the one two single two single tumors on the. Uh, on the brain, on the cerebellum brain, it was reduced 80%. So then how we started to use, uh, we made a um, uh, test of GANS. Actually, those the GANS are, uh, no, not GANS, uh, metal 
on blood, we're waiting for that result just to, to apply the last treatment to know what kind of uh, metals are involved in this uh, tumors, with either are the um, uh, zinc or, uh, or calcium. We went for that, but she's doing great. The second patient is a dog who had a cancer, met cancer on, on the uh, left leg. He had uh, two tumors on the size of gold, on uh, the size of the gold bowl. And we also, I put it inside the health unit. And in 10 days, the one, uh, one of the tumors was, one was inside the muscles and the other one was on the, between the skin and the muscle. That one, the second one, disappeared in 10 days completely. The one in the, inside the muscles reduced 80%. Then after a, a, a month, we took um, also a blood test to see what kind of metals was involved and was iron. So I, I made a patch of iron in two days, only two days afterward, disappeared completely. There's no, no tumor. That little dog is free of, of cancer. We were celebrating uh, this today, actually. I saw that little dog. And also oh, just uh, remaining a little pain in the area, but it's doing great. It's the pool of energy, it's running, and it's incredible. It's beautiful, those two cases. Um, not only seeing, but MRI. You, I know, I just want to ask you that you make it clear for uh, the, the public. You see in the blood test changes too, or not? All the, all the blood tests are the normal. Cancer, the cancer markers. Are they there, or have they changed? They changed. Uh, the cancer markers uh, were reduced significantly, and uh, but still, uh, the lady was waiting for the uh, the uh, test for the metals. But everything is doing great. I mean, reducing the the tumor markers are too low, and. The other test, the liver test, liver, because she had also also metastasis in the liver, and she's clean. She's clean of, of uh, any tumors in the liver. Everything is uh, working perfectly, normal. Uh, you are doing a test on Alzheimer's. Would you like yes, to? I had a patient with Alzheimer. Actually, it was a um, a lady who had cancer for, I mean, cancer, uh, Alzheimer for many years in the last nine months who was uh, completely uh, out. I mean, uh, just laying on the bed without uh, doing anything, just not be able to communicate with anybody, uh, to walk, anything. Uh, they feed him, the, the lady who was taking care of uh, this uh, patient uh, was using cold pads on the face in order to wake her up and and feed her. So I started just using zinc patch, zinc, CO2, and CH3. And I gave, us to, I gave them those two, two patches and asked them to put them on the water container, give them water, and <coughs> the lady said that it was going to uh, see her in three days. So I gave it, I waited for three days, and three days the, the uh, the lady's uh, son called me. He was so excited and crying because um, an hour after she drank the water, she recognized him. He was talking. He met, he uh, called him by his name. He was asking why he's so weak and he, she wanted to walk. And she's doing great. And uh, she's you were giving her yeah, Gans water. Only Gans water. The uh, Gans water CO2, uh, zinc, and CS3. Actually, patches, not, water, not, not, not drink water, just patches. With the water in it. The, the water inside, uh-huh. And put the patches outside the water container. Only that. And you see the response. She's so doing great. You put, the, you put the patches outside the water container and she drinks the water from the container. Correct. And you've seen the change. Yes, uh, she's doing great. Anything, any other thing you can report us, what you see as your patient? Yes, patients with diabetes, we had, uh, um, I had three patients who had diabetes with uh, neuropathy, severe, two of them severe neuropathy, and I put them in the health unit 
five days after the, the, being inside the, the unit, they stayed uh, only half hour to twice a day because they cannot come more often. And in five days, all the neuropathy disappeared in the, those two patients. And uh, uh, blood sugar is totally normal and all of them, and it's still coming. I, they've been coming for two weeks, and I uh, asked them to come for two or three, uh, two or three, um, three or four weeks to complete this, uh, the, the whole uh, um, treatment. <coughs> They're doing great. Not only just uh, the sugar or the, uh, the neuropathy, but the state of mind, the, uh, the awareness. The awareness and they all feel incredible good. I mean, just no dramas in the mind. They feel incredible, um, energized. And how, do you, how do you feel as a doctor that you can do this after many years in practice? <laughs> We, didn't, we never see those in medicine. It is, it's, what we learn in medicine is, is, is not this. It's just, we were deceived how to treat people. That's, actually, we were uh, trained to, to play with the diseases, to play to make someone else uh, richer, but not, not to heal anybody. Even though all the doctors, and I know that, the, all the doctors, we have the... the uh, we, go, we went to the school to heal people. We had a mind to heal people, to really help. But we were deceived. The medicine that we really um, learn is not the correct one. I've seen, you say that one day, I remember you said, the, the, uh, the machine, the body, the human body is the easiest machine to, uh, to handle the universe. And the more I understand, the more I use this technology, it is incredible. I do believe it. this is so easy to to um, to change and to control the body, to change the body, to bring to the balance. And the more the thing is, what I have learned is, it's not just the the health unit. This is the the plasma. The way I see it is my experience is is a source is like is is giving us the uh, the power to heal ourselves, and that's what we are learning to here to be in in the unit. We control that plasma. We control the energy. It's not that the the plasma is coming in to heal us. It's not that. Is we feel the the plasma? Yes, we feel the energy. But when we think about uh, about one part of the body, we, uh, we we send that energy to that part of the body. We control that energy. So it's given us the power that we have inside of us to heal ourselves. This is like, a, I see this, is like having a beautiful car without gasoline. Okay, you're the owner of the car, but you don't have a gasoline. You cannot use it. Even though they put a gasoline, there's a plasma. That's it. You are the one who controls the car. So you are the one who controls this body. And this energy just give you the power to you to use it to increase your own power and heal yourself. When people are aware of that, they starting to have better results. Because I've seen people who come in between the the, uh, the unit, just thinking in another thing and not focusing on healing. They don't receive much of that energy. That energy, but when they focus on the body. They control the energy. They control the the, the flow of plasma. The plasma, yes. This is just a source to for you to give it to uh, raise the power of yourself to to give you the power to back to you. This is the the, the way I see the plasma, and it's beautiful. I love this, and, so, and every time I see more patient ex the experiences. I love this technology. I love this uh, knowledge and becoming more aware of, or, of our own power. Thank you very much. Um, well, thank you. Would thank you, you. Yes. You're welcome. Would you like to tell us how you dealt with the, the technology behind how you dealt with the cancer tumor of the dog? Because that was a specific and you did a specific job. It's important we have a lot of doctors listen that they understand the science. I explained it to you and you followed it. But 
as a doctor explain to us how you saw it, how you did it, that we understand more of. Teach us, please. Please uh, 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 enlighten me, how to, uh, I don't understand the, the question, so I... You know, you, you reduced the cancer, how you reduced it. Okay, and well. How you depleted it from its um, seed, as we call it. Well, yes, what I've seen, that, I mean, after you know this, that w when we have a cancer, yes, this technology allows to reduce the, the, the cancer, as I see in 80% of that, the size. But we have to go to the seeds, and most of the cancer, the seeds of those cancers are involved some metals. So we have to do to do some blood tests to see what kind of metals are involved in this in this cancer. When we find out what kind of metals, we we make the GANs out of this metal. We use it and put a patches. I use patches connected with a nanocoated uh, copper. Put on uh, what's uh, one size on the other uh, of the patient. And the rest is it's over. It's just only it takes, as I said, two two three days to make those tumors disappear. So with this technology, that reduce eighty percent, and then using the uh, the patches with the metal, disappear completely. That's because this is the energy of that uh, of that uh, tumor. It gives you so it's energized this kind of metal. So when we use it, disappear. When we use the cans. Is absorb the energy of that that seed. In a way, you you taken the most part away, and using another part of the technology, you take where it's literally like a what we call like a pearl. You take the seed away. Exactly. And away in the center is not there. I have to explain something very interesting. Dr. Rodriguez listens to everything and he does everything exactly, and he gets the results with it, which is very strange for a doctor. Uh, he followed the pattern through the making the coils. He makes everything himself, and he followed making the Gans batch with the iron. As we explained, that you transfer uh, the energy of the material the way it's in the body, and by doing it, he has confirmed one of the biggest mysteries in the plasma technology, which we said. Um, when um, Dr. Rogers told us his one is disappeared and the other one is about 20% up, I explained to him what is the seed. There is something holding gravitational field of this um, this tumor, and it's usually heavy metals. And as as suggested and I've said in many of the teaching, cancer has a seed of gravitation which pulls a lot of energy. Nobody ever dies of cancer; we die of lack of energy. And then what Dr. Arius followed in making the way I explained to make the GANs of the, what do you call, you you literally grounded the iron, if I'm correct. Am I correct? Correct, yes. you're correct. Yeah. And then he made a caustic of it, and he, he transferred the GANs of it into a, a patch. And what happens is what we said, transmutation of energy. Because the iron in the center of the cancer is in the cancer state, is a plasma, now it's in a stronger position because it receives a lot of energy. With Dr. Rodriguez putting two iron on uh, patches on either side, the habit of plasma is opposite to the habit of the man. We look at the more power we put in, it'll work. With plasma you have to learn now you put two weaker patches on this either side. The cancer cell, which carries the ions of higher order plasma, tries to bring the other two to its level that is equal. So it gives all its energy and its configuration pattern energy to the two plates, and in a way it empties itself. And there is no iron. That's how the center is called. And when the center is taken away, there is no support for what is attached to it. And that's how the cancer disappears. I've done this for many years, and now we see the first time, the proof of it. Uh, we had a case yesterday, another doctor was saying, explaining to us, as I explained how you transfer the tumor from the brain, and I asked a single question, did you see a flake on the skull? And she said, yes, there was a scale. Uh, you remember Dr. Rodriguez, what she said, or is she online, she can explain herself? Yes, she did, yes. She was an, uh, they had an indentation. Yeah. In the skull. 
Yeah, but the seed of the brain tumor is usually a calcium. Yes. That's where it comes. And in making the pins she makes, she sees the, like a flakes on the skull outside, on the hair. And uh, she said, yes, I've seen the skull. That is the transmutation of the actual calcium from inside the brain to the outside where she put the pen. So, for the first time we understand, we have got the knowledge and the science to do what the stomach does. Many times I explained in the teaching that the energy, nothing ever crosses the beans, the carrot you eat doesn't cross the stomach, the wall of intestine. The energy transmutes from inside through the wall to the lymph. And now for the first time with these two doctors, these two tests, we receive the confirmation. Now that we have created the reverse, we are transmuting the elements from inside the body, outside. One, we've seen the disappearance of the cancer, because with that brown blood test we knew it's iron, and the other one, we've seen the calcium physically outside. We need to do more and more, by a lot of doctors. We invite you, if you are doctors, to join us, to extend this knowledge. Uh, I thank you, Dr. Rodriguez, you've been a great asset to us, we learned a lot from you. And thank you, Mr. Kiss, uh, I have learned a lot from you. Thank you very much for being here. Um, are there any other doctors who want to share with us? We usually do the medical section in the afternoon, and usually in Western Coast or in the American continent and China and Europe. Doctors find try to find a way to fit in to be there, but not this morning. If they like, they can allow their cases without name to be mentioned. In a way, with what we just heard, we have seen the end of the biggest enemy of the man on this planet for centuries and thousands of years. We have managed to overcome cancer by just the fields of the universe. We are not injecting, we are not pulling anything out, there is no operation. We have understood the essence of the creation. And doctors, they tell us, one by one. One by one, as doctors, more and more doctors practice the technology, they see the changes and they see the change in the ethos, they sworn to save God, the life of their patients. Now they have the tool. People like Dr. Rodriguez makes the tools himself. We are putting now the Keshe Foundation Austria to make tools. We have people like Tim Carey in the United States, building systems for American support. We see Philippines moving into university and hospitals. The technology is solid. The technology now is get proven, backed by governments, by scientists, by doctors, by ordinary man in a kitchen. And it's beautiful to see a master like Armand can report the same, what I reported for years, in an easier way. And now we have seen how they have to deceive us with false victims. That they can stop man to be free from their shackles. No chemotherapy, no radiography, no cutting open, no putting families without a father and mother and no father and mother without children from cancer. From this week on, now that we are proving more and more, we have found a solution for cancer. The Keshe Foundation, as we, as one race, one family, we have found a solution for our family at least for the cancer and the others. We might change, or we might have different names, but in fact we are all one family. And now you've seen it. The biggest mystery, the biggest fear of the man, is buried for the man. We have no fear from cancer. As we saw from Keshe Foundation Ghana, bacteria is killed. As I said to you, I have signed a agreement has started in Ghana for HIV and malaria. But, as we share knowledge, we share knowledge with you furthermore. If you have CO2, and just the water of the CO2, I have asked this from the scientists from Iranian Nuclear Center to do for me, and we'll see Iranian scientists will shine. Not only because I have a weakness as being born there, but I have a lot of respect for my scientists. 
my colleagues in Iran are one of the best in the world. And you will see them, they come and share with us. I've asked the same thing from Ghana. If you are a doctor, I have a news for you. One of the biggest, and I've seen many people in over the time, have seen problem in hospitals, after operation, the infections, the cross infection, the doctor touching something and the bone being infected internally, which leads to a lot of complication and death. I've asked the Iranian scientists to look into it, and the answer should be very easy, and I'll ask this morning from Ghana's Nuclear Atomic Center Keshe Foundation to get the authorization to do a test. As you know, they're very precise, they do everything. We would like to make a GANS of CO2 plus copper oxide, water, plasma water, and instead of using, we, we sterilize, our knives, our tools, scuppers, everything in the operating room to 100%. But once it's opened, the breath of the doctor, the touch of something which is coming to operating room, the fat or cut or whatever of the nurses unintentionally, brings cross-contamination, and then the infection. And then in so many ways we see when the skin opened up in certain ways, certain places, then it leads to cancer in those places. What we are asking, if you're a doctor, if you're a surgeon, especially if you're a surgeon, if you work in any kind of industry, we will release it, but it's good to have a knowledge from you lot as well. It's part of the family, is make a gas of CO2, which is a carbon oxide, make a gas of CO2, and just put all the tools in the operating room in this liquid. It can be there, we can open sacks, the way we do the sacks of water, we bring the surgical gloves out or whatever, we make the gas of these waters in surgical rooms. All the knives, everything which you can use in the operating room, can be in there wet, it doesn't matter, it's sterilized, because we've seen from the Ghana Atomic Energy Report, nothing in it, every bacteria was dead, when you use the CO2 especially. When the doctor wants a knife, he takes the knife out from the water, is sterilized. Can you close? And then, because the doctor puts his hand in the water to take, he's already sterilized, he cannot cross-contaminate. Impossibility, because he's already sterilized. When you want to close a wound, just with the same water, or another water, another container of it, just wipe the wound with the same water. You will sterilize, you kill all the germs. The beauty with this is, as we heard from Dr. Rodriguez, if there are any cancer cells, because you create a condition of the CO2 environment, cancer will never grow. Infection will not be there. Complication after operation, does not start that you have to solve. I come from a medical background of working and seeing the hospitals from a very young age, when I went around the hospitals, and I've seen a lot of things, I've seen in corridors when the parents cry, a child lost in operating room, with whatever reason, when a mother loses a child, or a child loses a father, because of so many, there are so many people die in England alone, after operation infection. Maybe we have found the solution. We'll get the results from Iranian Atomic very soon. I thank the officers of the Iranian Presidents for supporting the Foundation. I thank the Iranian nuclear physicists who have started the collaboration in a very small way. You got to understand one thing. It's the process that we have to understand not the science. We see now, we are testing. If you spray the CO2 in the water, just make a gas of CO2 in a bottle, and when you go to a toilet, you go to a public toilet, you go to, in the house, you get the smell, just a spray it, you disinfect it immediately. But the beauty that, if you have, Orders in the house, 
the same principle of absorption of the field, order is a crystal dimension of the gas, you'll find instantaneously the order disappears. Instantaneously, within milliseconds. There was a smell, there is no smell. Caroline tells you much better. You can use it as deodorant, because now, if you can use it for everywhere else, what about body? She's testing this, she walks around, spraying the CO2 and everything possible. And we see the result. If you have a skin infection, spray CO2 gans on it. If you have a skin cancer, do the same. Water of the gans of CO2, maybe a little bit of copper oxide, very, very little. If you have a burn, spray it on it and leave it. I'm trying it in my eye. If you have foot infection, spray on it. If you have a corn which creates pain in your walking, spray on it and patch it. We've seen changes. Use the knowledge to bring comfort. You're bold, use a CO2, just with the water, just brush your hair on it. She will love you. I don't know how long for, now you look very handsome. Understand the process. In the kitchen, use the CO2 gans water for just cleaning around the house. You have young children. Try it. We have to try it. It's our freedom. There is no certification for being the last man on standing. It's not anymore the last man standing. I use a specific word. The last man understanding. If you understand, you can save your life. We still don't know much of this technology. It still needs to be opened up. We opened up the medical application. We opened up the agricultural application. We opened up the land application. We opened up with Fukushima, decontamination. As we've seen in a recent publication by TEPCO, the Japanese government lied to the public about melting down of the reactor for two months. It's in public now in Japan and people are very angry with it. Because the head of TEPCO announced we lied to people for two months. We were told not to tell. They told the other the lie. That they have not used the Keshe Foundation technology, but they did. Habitual liars cannot stop. We have pictures of our team in Fukushima on the plant. And as you know, I release everything. I can release it to you by next Thursday. I need authorization. We tell you the address right in the center of the plant, in their auxiliary systems. As the Japanese government have called, lied for two months, there was no meltdown, they lied too, they never used Keshe Foundation too. The same as we've seen with our people who make criminals by paying them to come. No victim, no victim. It is very easy to create mayhem by the people who have a lot of money, because with it comes a lot of pleasure. I will personally file a case against the Red Circle for attempted murder, as I already have in the Italian courts. I have evidence, I am the victim, document sets, and I have other people. He's a murderer, and now that he knows he's going to be caught, like Mr. Stelling, he makes everything to divert attention. Make as much dust, that through it you can escape. you got to understand, all of you are correct. Technology is solid. Bring it in, <coughs> let's see. 
bring more in, what do you achieve? We are freely teaching, we are telling you what we are doing, we are releasing the blueprints. We have seen a report from uh, Innovation Center, in respect to doctors tell you about the acidity of the stomach or the saliva and alkaline. Let a simple scientific data show you. Renan, are you in the background that you can show us what you showed in the medical application yesterday with the doctors? Yes, I will open it first. Give me a minute. Okay, no problem. Now, what do you see it, what was shown? This, this is knowledge belonging to the foundation, which is you, which was shared with the doctors yesterday in the medical section. Then you understand how, in a simple way, you can change the acidity of the mouth, if you have a mouth cancer, with simply touching cans water with your mouth, or if you have a stomach cancer, by swallowing, it can help. We need data, so we ask you, if you're in a village far away from Dr. Rodriguez, but you have a stomach cancer, you listen to us in the back village of Toko, and you're real, not fake, take a gas water. And let's see if you are the one, first ones who report to us, there is no stomach cancer. We are looking to expand the knowledge of the man to live free of pain and suffering. And this is how a family looks after each other. Um, what you're going to see with uh, Brennan is that they have taken a smoker with a high acidity level, and then by just breathing CO2, they have measured the concentration again back of acetyl alkalineness. And then they have tested this outside the body with a CO2 water plasma. It's a very impressive uh, data, if you understand it. And it's a very impressive data. If you're a doctor, maybe you can use it. It is uh, understanding it, and then applying it. This is what we are looking for. If you've got a mouth cancer, try to use the GANS, the water GANS of CO2. Do not use copper oxide, please do not use copper oxide for a time being, till we can tell you more how to use it. You can use copper oxide, but it has to have a ratio, very remote, that you don't change tissue muscles. Are you there, Renan, or can you share? Mr. Keshe, if you like, I can share the document, and Renan can speak to it. Yes, okay, please go ahead, because you have it. Dr. Klaus is the uh, coordinator of the health section of the Keshe Foundation with the doctors, and he's present in all the presentation. He organizes all the teaching. Uh, Dr. Klaus, please share with us, till Brandon can come in. Hello. Renan. I do this, oh, let's put this way. Dr. Klaus, as a doctor, you better explain to us, because you were present, you understand it. Looks like Renan dropped off for a little bit here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dr. Klaus, if you go from the beginning of the page, uh, you can explain to us what was the test. Okay. Uh, the test was uh, they were using a health cup uh, to improve, as you mentioned, the condition of a chain smoker. And um, the goal was uh, to validate the effect of this health cup, uh, which the smokers used. And as you can see here, this is the profile. Um, it was a uh, um, 30 years old uh, gender male. And uh, what he did, he was uh, for 14 years a chain smoker uh, with at least 14 sticks of cigarettes per day. And as you can see at the next page, Renan and his team, they used this health cup as we know how to build it. They used the pH paper for measuring it, and they also used plastic containers. Um, what was the experiment setup? Um, Mr. This um, uh, patient um, was, as we said, the test volunteer, and um, the 
man made uh, made to breathe on air plasma with the plasma health cup and um, as Renan here mentioned consequently of subject cell liver was measured one hour one per hour intervals to check on plasma longevity effect what they did the man at day one they he breathed on the health cup once only day two he breathed on the health cup every four hours so what can we see at the test you can see exactly that the pH readings reduced after some hours and there was a significant increase um, it, it increased increase of pH from 5 to 9 after breathing on the health cup and the increase in pH was sustained for two hours significantly drop was observers observed hereafter as you can see here these are the test results pH readings using pH paper and as you can see as the second diagram can see a significant rise in pH for every instance where this man was made to breathe on the health cup every six hours and the cell liver pH dropped back to original levels and here again the pictures for proving it So the conclu conclusion of the innovation team at Philippines around Renan, they were that the results have shown that air plasma, CO2 in the cup, application has very promising effects on human body based on this experiment. And added now to the knowledge is the immediate influence of air plasma, CO2, to an acidic environment by changing its state to alkaline. It is already given that cancer and many diseases don't thrive in alkaline environment. This is additional information, has uh, here nothing to do with this experiment, but uh, this is additional information. And with this application of air plasma, it will create many opportunities for health applications. And as uh, Renan uh, states uh, in his last sentence, more study is needed to explore further the usage of air plasma. Yes, yes, Mr. Kesh. You You're welcome. Thank you so much. I had uh, got the connection already. So you can add now. Your yeah, experiences, yes. please. Yeah. You got to let us uh, let let us explain. Um, Brennan has the Kesh Foundation research team around the world, and he's one of our top guys with Verne in the Philippines, and they do a lot of work. They have joined with the universities and other institutes that are working heavily. And as you can see on the top of it, it's a Keshe Foundation Product Innovation and Development Group. We need this across the world, it doesn't no matter where you are. You can join us to test and become part of it. And um, let us see how we can help each other. Thank you very much, Renan, for all your work and your team.